The worst of Cyclone Jonina is reaching Rodrigues this morning and it's still intensifying. It's a Category 3 on the Sapphire Simpson scale with winds of 125 miles per hour and a pressure of 940 millibars at 6am Mauritius time this March 26. It is still a stage 6 on the CDPS scale with over 250 millimetres of rain still possible in addition to what we've already seen on the island of Rodrigues so far at stage 6 catastrophic. The current location puts Rodrigues well within the storm's wind field and possibly hurricane force wind, wind field as well, 18.9 degrees south, 63.8 degrees east. That puts the storm just 59 miles from Rodrigues and 1550 from Isle Amsterdam way down to the south. Given the, that the uh, hurricane wind field is around 40 nautical miles, uh, that is just a little bit shy of that 59 from Rodrigues, but hurricane force gusts are being felt and are still possible throughout the day. A class 4 warning is in effect for the island of Rodrigues and that will probably remain in place until the later part of the day possibly even by Tuesday night. Here's what the GFS model is saying right now, taking the storm just to the east of the island, and that is where it's heading at the minute. To continue towards the southeast could still peak as a category four in the next 12 to 24 hours as it passes the island. Uh, further intensification, just a small window for that in that 24 hour period before wind shear will rise to prohibitive levels and will then start to weaken the storm. Of course, as it ventures further towards the south as well, sea surface temperatures will be cooling down too. The next graphic will show those. Here they are, the sea surface temperatures. Around 28 degrees Celsius where the storm is at the minute. That will fall to around 27 tomorrow and 26 the day after that. So looking at the wind profile, you can see here hurricane force conditions still possible on the island if it takes a bit of a jog towards the south. Uh, but it looks like sustained hurricane conditions might just miss the island by a very small amount of miles. Hurricane force gusts, as I've said, are, are already occurring on the island and will continue throughout today. And maybe there will be some areas of hurricane force winds because the wind field estimates are just that, estimates. Of course those on the island will have battened down the hatches and it's going to be another long day after we've had a long evening last night watching this storm move through. It's been pretty slow, I must say. And these are the chances of tropical storm force winds, pretty self-explanatory. 99% on Rodrigues is pretty much a certainty. Tropical storm force winds will probably continue throughout today and possibly even throughout a significant part of tonight as well. Looking at the models, uh, they actually do call for Category 4 now after it passes Rodrigues. Uh, the JTWC calling for 115 knots there in 24 hours. Wind shear will be starting to rise towards 20 knots by then and will rise even further beyond that and then the storm will begin to weaken. Sea surface temperatures will drop slightly, relative humidity the same. The track forecast is pretty certain. Uh, the storm is very nearly making its closest pass to the island of Rodrigues as we speak. Here is the latest satellite imagery showing how well the storm was looking until those recent frames where the eye has clouded over a little bit from significant bursts of convection. I'm not really sure what's happened there. Perhaps a little bit of structural upheaval on the southern side of the storm's eye which has started to cloud the whole thing up and maybe we might be seeing the onset of an eye wall replacement cycle. It's the only thing I can think of to explain why that eye has clouded over. It was pretty ragged to begin with but it did look like it was really getting its act together and it could have been intensifying more. But that's where we are at right now and we'll have another update 7 p.m. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. Of course, you can come into direct contact with us by uh, messaging fool13 on Discord at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. And our partners are also doing updates. Mateo, a cyclo Maurice on Facebook. <laughs>